Whenever you do designing, there are times that you will experience wherein you get stuck in your design phase. This happens when you have to do some kind of decision making. One of the common things that you have to decide upon is whether your design is acceptable in terms of strength and safety. I will show you calculation on our design. So our concept is simple. We have a round steel bar and then it is supported upon by two brackets on both sides. So in this pull-up bar, uh, there's a person doing some exercise and then upon doing that exercise, he's actually applying uh, a load to the bar. So just like that. Assuming that this guy is 80 kilograms. So that means it is applying a force of 80 kilogram upon the bar. Now assuming the bar is rigid, that means the load will be transferred on the two brackets. So we assume that the 80 kilogram will be simply divided into two between the two brackets. So take for 40 kilograms sila. Assuming that the brackets are identical, we can just focus our attention with just one bracket. Our bracket, it's made out of steel angle bars that looks like, you know, more or less looks like this. So my idea is the angle bars are welded in place. So we have four bolt holes. This rigid bracket is supporting a 40 kilogram load. So assuming that all the screws are equal and then assuming that the screws are the weakest link, then we assume that the 40 kilogram load is distributed equally among the four screws. So each screws is actually supporting a 10 kilogram load. Assuming that one screw is identical to the others, we can just do one calculation on one screw. There is a load applied to the screw of 40 kilogram. For this particular screw, I'm going to use a 2.5 millimeter diameter screw, mild steel. Now the reason that I'm using 2.5 in miles is because this is what is available in my shop. So in this particular stage, you must already know the specifications of the screw that you will going to use. So in my particular case, because I'm limited to whatever's available in my shop, I'm using a 2.5 millimeter diameter mild steel screw. So given this data here, then we can now do some calculation. So the first thing that we have to do is to calculate the shear stress experienced by the screw. So shear stress is equal to the force applied to it divided by the cross-sectional area of the screw. The force is basically 10 kilogram multiplied by 9.8 meters per second square. 9.8 meters per second square is the acceleration due to gravity. This is divided by the area the area will be pi multiplied by 2.5 mm. I'm going to divide it by 1000 to convert it to meters. And then we square that and divide it by 4. So this is basically pi diameter squared over 4. Area of a circle. So that's 19,600,000 pascal or equivalent to 19.6 megapascal. So that's the shear stress experienced by the screw. Now we have to compare the shear stress of the screw, the tensile strength of the screw. So the tensile strength can be determined given the material of your screw. In this particular case, it is mild steel. So I know that for mild, mild steel, the tensile strength is around 400 megapascal, okay? But 400 megapascal is based on normal tensile strength. Ibig sabihin that the forces is applied like that if this is your uh, round bar. But our force is not normal, it is shear. So I know that to get the tensile strength shearing, we just simply multiply the normal strength uh, with a factor of 0.6. The tensile strength in shearing is equals to 400 megapascal multiplied by a factor of 0.6. 
240 mega pascal. Now, this is tensile strength in the shearing. So, we now have two values here. The shear stress experienced by the screw and the tensile strength of the screw in shearing. So, we now have to compare these two. The basic concept is that the shear stress should be less than the tensile strength in shearing. So, since it is obviously less, then we are okay. But to be more specific, it's better to calculate what we call factor of safety FS. Yan. So, you simply calculate it like this. Tensile strength in shearing divided by the uh, shear stress experienced by the screw. So, this is 12.24. 24. Wala siyang units. So, this is our factor of safety. So, the question now is, is this is acceptable? Now, if you try to analyze our uh, load, when the person doing his exercise is actually moving up and down. If it's just stationary, then you can do with maybe 4. But since it is moving up and down, maybe we can go with 6. But since our factor of safety is 12.24, which is more than 6, then that means we are good to go. Given this simple calculation, we can now proceed with our fabrication.